Over thousands of years, humans have developed machines to improve their lifestyle. Interestingly, nature has already developed small molecular machines for billions of years. If you look inside these molecular machines, you see that they are actually made up of proteins. Now when I say proteins, what comes to your mind? We regularly consume protein-rich foods like egg and dal. In fact, inside the human body, there are about 3 lakh proteins. Proteins are responsible for cell repair, breathing, even lifting your hand. These proteins, which are important in all spheres of life, are maintained in an intricate balance. And the disruption of this balance leads to diseases like cancer, Alzheimer's and diabetes. These proteins do all the work inside our bodies and are basically big molecules, also called macromolecules. If you look at the structure, proteins are basically polymers like beads on a string. Poly meaning many and mer meaning a unit. If we consider one such unit, which is a monomer, it is called an amino acid because it contains an amino group and an acid group. These two groups combine to give the peptide bond by which the individual amino acids are attached. But if we had the same amino acid, the protein would have been like this with no variations and life would not have existed. In nature, there are 20 amino acids that can be denoted by single letter codes. So proteins can now look like this and this is called the sequence of amino acids or the primary structure of the protein. The next question would be, do proteins exist as straight lines? The answer is no. If we go back to the earlier video on molecular machines, we see that there are unique structures of proteins. This is because different kinds of amino acids interact with each other to give the beautiful three-dimensional structures of proteins. This is called protein folding and is a problem which scientists around the world are trying to understand. Protein folding is important since only the correctly folded form of the protein is able to perform its assigned work. Misfolding of proteins can cause various diseases like Alzheimer's disease and sickle cell anemia. Amino acids on different proteins interact to do complex functions like motor proteins which deliver cargo in cells. Hence, it is very important to understand proteins and their interactions. Now, let me ask you a question. Look at these three different protein structures that scientists have found out. They are quite similar, right? Look again and try to find out the difference. These proteins may look the same, but their ends are at different positions. To explain, here I have taken a similar arrangement as you saw before. The shapes of the two proteins are similar, but the ends are at different positions. To understand, we will pull these two proteins and you see that they look different. That means their primary structure is different. But when I tie the two ends together, and put a cut into the protein, you can see that they look similar. This concept is called circular permutation. Circular because the amino acids can be arranged in a circle and permutation meaning different arrangements. Circular permutation or CP gives different proteins because the primary structure arrangement differs. But by doing so, have I made a better protein than the original one? To check this, we unfold or denature the protein by different means. In our lab, we denature proteins by force, heat and chemicals. The excess force, heat and chemicals break the interactions between the different amino acids and make the protein linear again. In force denaturation, we pull the protein by atomic force microscopy and also when we do heat or chemical denaturation, it also gives a measure of the stability of the protein. In this manner, we can see whether CP can cause a change in the stability, folding and unfolding of proteins. By understanding all these properties, we can design more stable circular permitted variants of existing proteins. Making circular permitted proteins and studying the folding process has been helping scientists in detecting viruses, making improved detection tools, carrying out reactions with better yields and cancer detection and cure.